Hours after the announcement by the Prime Minister of the reinstatement of a representative Andrew Perez as a Minister of Government, Attorney Wendy Axelou issued a statement decrying the move. We note that she now makes even more serious allegations of a criminal nature against the Minister. When the matter first broke on August 17th, it was because a thread of leaked WhatsApp messages between her and Paris were circulated. They spoke of sexual harassment and Axelou never came forward herself to address the issue. However, in a subsequent leaked statement that Axelou did not circulate herself, there was a more serious allegation. She never formally shared that document. In Wednesday's statement, Axelou revealed that she fled the country out of fear and is undergoing therapy. Notably, she asserts that at no point was she contacted by the Attorney General for the evidence she has about what transpired. Axelou has not revealed that evidence but proclaims that she will not be silenced. She explained that she never made a police report because she was still in shock at the events that were unfolding but she reminds that there is no limitation period to report the crime. My legal colleagues advised me to, number one, make a report to the police, and number two, that because of the information that I had, my life could be in danger. Because I was still in shock at the events that were unfolding, I decided not to report the matter to the police and instead opted to reach out to the prime minister. After all, this was a sitting minister of government who represented not just the party I supported, but all of the people of Belize who was perpetrating these actions. I will add that the prime minister took my call, but did nothing more. In fact, the day after I reported Andre Perez to him, the prime minister and Andre Perez were out doing photo shoots together. To date, I have not been contacted by anyone in the government to ask to review my evidence or to hear my side of the story. I call this, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. If they are faced with evidence, then they would be forced to do something about it. If the patriarchy that rules Belize wants to discipline me further because I'm speaking out tonight, um, they can do all manner of things, including all the things Andre Perez threatened to do, which is to file trumped up tri tr uh, criminal charges against me, or maybe take other actions to humiliate and degrade me. Yes, I run that risk. But at this point, they have already, they have already robbed me of everything my peace of mind, my life, and my livelihood. The one thing they cannot take away from me is my agency and my voice. And I will tell my story over and over until it's heard. We asked the Prime Minister for a comment on Axelou's statement, but he has not responded.